Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the Camellus Pristine, so stay tuned. Those of you who follow my channel know that I said that I would never buy another Camellus knife again, but <laughs> I did. I was at Walmart, no surprise, and they had gotten in some new knives and uh, some new Camellus knives, and this one just called me. I really loved the way it looked, but I'm like, I'm not going to buy it unless I make sure this one is good before I leave because I'm not going to be stuck with another Camellus I don't like. So I took it out and messed with it. I'm like, huh, this one really is a winner. It, you know, everything was aligned. It was solid. It, it appeared to have uh, better quality control i guess or whatever it seemed to be uh made better than the last few that i bought and uh seemed worth it so here we are now just in case you didn't know camellus is not the same camellus from a long time ago and i already went through the whole history of this so i'm not going to bore you again but um they're not the same camellus now they're made in china so yes this is made in China, not the USA. So if you have a lot of heartache about it, this video might not be for you. But you got to keep in mind, when this country first started, very few things were made in the USA. We were importing everything, including tea, <laughs> of coffee and all that stuff until we started making it here. And, um, you know... Uh, this is how I feel. The market will eventually equalize. I know China's going through a hard time right now, and um, probably shipping things is going to get more expensive, and making things here might be cheaper. And uh, I think things will self-correct after a while, quite honestly. But anyway, there there are good products that come from China, and they there are crappy products that come from the USA like that one buck that I had thrown up on my vlog channel that was complete garbage and so was the second one and the third one that I checked out so take it for whatever it's worth all right so let's just really quick run down the box here it's uh has that carbon nitrite titanium coating on a VG10 steel blade has G10 scales uh, stainless steel handle uh, drop point blade and it comes with a lifetime warranty really not lifetime limited it says lifetime warranty so if, if you're old like me that that's only a couple of years if you're young that's uh, a long time and hopefully they'll still be in business so let's go ahead and get this out of the box and take a close look here's a close look at the box real quick so you know what you're looking for and you can see they do that 10 times uh, harder, and that's because of that coating that they put on there that I just mentioned, the carbon uh, carbon nitride titanium coating, which is the black coating you'll see on the blade shortly. Now, this is a liner lock, but the first thing that really draws your attention, at least it, it drew my attention, is this. Look at that spacer back there. It is just gorgeous. I, that's what drew me to this immediately. It is really, really nice. And I do like the combination G10 stainless steel for your handle or your uh, scales, whatever you want to call them. You also have a very nice uh, brushed aluminum also clip. Now, can that clip be moved anywhere else? No, it cannot. So this is always a tip-down carry. Um, by the way, here's the instructions that sort of came with this for carrying it talks about putting a light coat of oil on the blade and marching it with soap and water and that when you sharpen it you should sharpen it at an 18 to 20 degree angle that's a nice touch i like that they did that and i just left the styrofoam in here you could see that it chipped in the box and it's really nice foam material which is pretty good so what else do we have at first look before we open this up we do have a lanyard hole right here Again, G10. Its uh, grip is about a medium, not too grippy, not uh, too slippery. And I don't know. Is there anything else to talk about outside? I think we got it covered. Next thing is the thumb studs. You could see that there is thumb studs on both sides. That makes them 
ambidextrous <laughs> thumb studs. They're a little small and they're kind of close to the handle, so they're a little bit hard to get to, but um, it flies out <laughs> like an automatic, but it's not. It just flies out. I um, uh, was very impressed. Now, other things that you see here once it is open is that you have um, what kind of blade did a because it sort of looks like a spear point, but I think it's listed as a drop point. Yeah, it's a drop point blade. And you have a little bump where the thumb studs are. I would have liked to see maybe a thumb ramp put right there. I think it's kind of weird that um, they just left it like that, considering there's not much to keep your hand from sliding down on the blade if you're using this to stab with, which it would make a very good stabber. This is a 3 inch blade and I almost <laughs> stabbed my finger with it. Overall length of this one open is 6 and 3 quarter inches. Closed length is 3.65 inches and the weight is 6.4 ounces. So that are the basic specs right there. Also this is a liner lock. You can see there's a liner lock right there. It does not have any jimping on the liner lock. But um, one thing that was really bad about some of the Camilla's knives I was picking up was it was very hard to push the liner lock over to disengage the lock. And this is sort of a little bit better, but it, it's still a little tough. You can see my finger has a little dent right there. But uh, it's not terrible like some others. So um, take that for whatever it is worth. Now you can see the handle does have these ridges in it so it would be for your hand to hold but again there's really not much to keep your hand from slipping on this when stabbing so I I don't know but uh, it's a very nice clean design it's a handsome knife it's a nice everyday carry it's uh, it it looks very classy especially that backspacer it's just freaking awesome looking I'll tell you what let me see if I could um, put this camera into autofocus so I can bring this up a little closer so we can go ahead and take a very close look at this before we start doing some tests with this knife. I'm going to go ahead and use my hand to help this sharpen. There we go. And just look at that. That is just a gorgeous, just a gorgeous looking knife. I think I went out of focus. There we go. Look how just beautiful that is <laughs> it sounds like i'm in love with this knife go ahead and take a look at the blade real quick and you can really take a look at that coating and you can see there it says there we go vg10 so what is vg10 vg10 is a super steel it is stronger than all your 420s, 440s, OS 8s, all that good stuff. So what what does that all mean? Well, on Wikipedia, VG10 uh, stands for V Gold or Gold 10. Gold meaning quality. It's a Japanese steel, or or it should be made in Japan. I'm not gonna say it's guaranteed to be made in Japan, but it's a Japanese steel, and uh, it can achieve some very very high marks on the HRC scale. This, as a matter of fact, um, uh, I've seen HRCs for VG10 between 59 up to 62. I'm guessing this is probably 59 to 60. I don't know if you want it much higher than that because it might become too brittle, but it, it can handle it because it's VG10. So it maintains toughness as you go up on that scale. Uh, VG10 does this by uh, having an interesting chemical makeup of carbon, chromium, moly, B, denim, uh, vanium, cobalt, magnesium. So that helps it uh, stay rust resistant because it's stainless steel while it also enable it to get very hard and still maintain some toughness so it doesn't get too brittle. Um, other things to note is that all the screws are torque screws. There are some different sizes. You do have a adjustable um, pivot torque screw right there, so you could go ahead and adjust it on uh, both sides right there. Two things I forgot to point out is that you get a sharpening choil right there, which I am a big fan of, and also that this is a hollow grind to almost the top, but they leave a little bit of a flat area here, so if you have a sharpener that requires clamping to the blade, you can still do that. So really nice. So let's go ahead and start doing some tests. 
the lockup of this is solid. No side to side or up and down play. When you close this, we're looking at a really nice blade centering. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for this to focus. And you can see that uh, blade centering is nearly perfect. Can't expect more from a mass-produced knife there. Next, let's go ahead and make sure that blade retention is good. Okay, it does not come out. Now, the, the blade retention is kind of interesting. You can see it... it, it really doesn't snap in or anything like a lock back it, it's your typical liner but once it gets in there and hits that detent it it's in there good so we don't have to worry about it coming out so retention's okay especially you know considering it's a liner lock let's go ahead and do a paper test really quick I'm gonna reach around the camera here to the other side Ooh, that that didn't work out too good did it all right it can't, I can't push cut, but, um, it's, it's sharp out of the box. It's not razor sharp, but it's, uh, pretty sharp. As a matter of fact, I got a lot of hair. Let's see if I can do some hair. I don't typically do this because I'm prone to, uh, cutting myself with my knife, but, um, it's cutting a few hairs. <laughs> Not to split hairs, but it's uh, it's cutting a few hairs and taking off a little bit of skin. So it, it, it's sharp, but it's not super, super duper razor sharp. My final test is the stabbing test where I just make sure that the tip doesn't easily break if I stab it into a piece of wood. So we'll go ahead and do that. By the way, the grip on this for reverse grip, which I usually use to do this, is really comfortable because it, it sort of angles down here. So uh, very nice as far as uh, reverse grip regular grip is is decent you know uh, i have big hands this is really good for medium and small hands but it's still um pretty decent it's good i'll read it good it, there's nothing terrible in there sticking my head making it feel like crap how about that there we go you can see it's in there really good that's a nice shot, by the way. And we'll go ahead and, yep, that's what I'm doing. I'm rocking it back and forth. Because if the tip breaks, then um, we know we have a big issue. So let's go ahead and let that sharpen up. And you can see it still has its point really good. This is soft pine. I'm not using any kind of crazy um, hardwood. All right. So let's go ahead and take a close look again at that. And um, by the way... Even the coating is intact, so good job. Time to wrap things up. This could be had for the unbelievable low price of $39 at Cabela's. Cabela's actually has this on sale for $39.88. I paid a little more at Walmart. I'm kind of peeved off about it. I paid almost 50 bucks at Walmart, so I don't know what's up with that. Uh, unless Cabela's just has a sale, which it does look like it's a, a special sale right now at the time of this taping which uh, is right now. So anyway, it is uh, definitely worth getting. Uh, this is, I, I never thought I'd hear myself say, hey, there's a Camellus that I recommend. And uh, I do. And, you know, as far as rating is concerned, the pros are unbelievable uh, materials um, for the price. You're getting VG10, you're getting G10 scales, you're getting this uh, very nice work on the um, backspacer here. The cons is that the clip is only tipped down right-handed only. So they really left the left-handers out. So sorry about the 15% of you folks that sort of get screwed when it comes to that. They really could have easily I mean it. They could have drilled some holes and, and set this up for you. So I'm going to just go ahead and take away a point for that. So it gets a 9 out of 10. So there you go. Recommended. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and you. And I hope you have a great evening. Take care. Bye.